something wrong when you get out of college and you owe thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. And uh, that's uh, even worse if you've gone to a professional school, uh, done graduate work after undergraduate school, if you're a lawyer, a uh, doctor, and I think it's somewhat affected those professions. For those practicing those professions have had to become entrepreneurs. And I don't think the fact that they've had to pay for their education ahead of these loans is the only factor, but it's certainly an important one. Lawyers uh, are under a great deal of pressure when you're first out to make money to pay off your debts, not just to keep your office or, or uh, support your family, but to pay off this debt you've accumulated. You'd be inclined to take cases you might not otherwise take. Uh, there'd be some inclination to prolong cases, consciously or subconsciously, to, to raise fees that you might not otherwise do, but you're under these pressures. Comparatively to what lawyers and doctors were making uh, 40 years ago, now they're making much, much more and have to. And society pays for that. There's no doubt that more money is needed at all levels of education in Kentucky. We've still got a long way to go. And just throwing money at education does not solve the problem. We need to look into salary structures. We need to see how we get the best classroom teachers available in undergraduate school. And we've got to make higher education cheaper some way, somehow, more affordable, more affordable.